The 7th Annual St. David's Marist Inanda 2020 Cricket Festival takes place from the 5th to the 8th of September and will feature some of the top cricketing schools in the country. The exciting format that is 20 over cricket will no doubt bring great entertainment value to players and spectators alike with sizable crowds pulling in to the St. David's grounds over the four days of action. Several players that have attended this festival have already made their mark on the first-class cricket scene, with the most prominent example being Protea's ODI wicket-keeper Quinton de Kock. Ten teams returned for the 2013 event, with the only changes seeing Grey College of Bloemfontein and Hilton College being replaced by Somerset College and St. John's College. The quality of cricket on display will be of the top drawer, with no less than eight teams having featured on the School Sports News Top 20 Cricket Rankings back in February. Let's take a closer look at some of the teams going to the festival. Ronnebosch Boys High are a powerful cricketing school and boast some very prominent old boys like Jonathan Trott, Gary Kirsten and H.D. Ackerman. They have been one of the dominant forces in school's cricket over the past 18 months and are the national T20 champions after beating Waterkloof in the final of the Coca-Cola School's T20 Cup at Newlands back in February. Coach Rob Dalrymple has opted to leave some of the matrix out with the likes of Hayes van der Berg, Zubay Hamza, Riaz Sada and K. Skofgaard Peterson staying at home. The side will be led by opening batsman Matthew Christensen who was named player of the tournament at the Coke T20 Cup. Christensen's partner at the top of the order is Murray Cummins, son of John Cummins who played three tests for the Proteas in the mid-90s. All-rounder Dayan Khalim is a fearsome talent and will spearhead the bowling department alongside Jay Stevens with Junaid Daywood offering some useful variation with his wrist spin. Everyone enjoys the shorter format of the game because um, while well, they feel that they can express themselves a little better and they and it's a lot shorter and everything's everything's exciting about it and especially the, the good atmosphere at, uh, at St. David's, it's a really great tournament and I'm sure the boys are very, very excited to go. We've been working at it for the whole year, trying to get into that, that final eight or so teams, I think it was. So to win the tournament, we were basically lost for words. So with all that hard work that we put in, it was satisfactory. It was a great feeling to win that tournament. To be honest with you, I, I didn't go in there trying to be play of the tournament. I, I didn't go in at all with that even that didn't even cross my mind. I didn't even know they had a play of the tournament at the time. There's definitely this this very, very, very tough opponent we'll face at St. David's. We have guys like St. Stillians who have a franchise bowler in the team. They have very, very, very quality players out that side up north and um, it's gonna be very tough. Usually we don't do very well at uh, St. David's because the teams are so so tough out there and the fact that we don't have our matrix and we have all the new guys in our team. Um, ladies and Tayan Khalim, definitely one. Um, once again, Tayan Khalim, without a doubt. He, he's a special guy. He, once you get to know him, he's a special, very Awkwardly funny guy, um, he would definitely be our joke of the team. Junaid Dawood, he's so quiet and as soon as he takes a wicket, he's like Tahir, he does a little special run and he just excites everyone. <laughs>